Hey guys, I'm going to pick up pretty much where I left off in the goat fence collaboration video. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a great collection of videos. I learned quite a bit from everybody else that participated in that collaboration. I'll leave links. Anyway, back to where I am. Uh, where I left off, I put the goats over here in this spot and it's been holding up pretty well. They've been doing okay with it, haven't destroyed it. Um, but I have taken the rest of this fencing that was around here and gotten rid of that. Uh, next time we get the tractor out, we'll get a chain and wrap it around these poles and pull it out with a backhoe. It'll be a piece of cake. So here's where I set up the goats last time we left off. It's been, I don't know, six, eight weeks probably, and in all honesty, they've probably spent half of that time over in the, uh, over in their little home base over there just because it's been raining so much. So when it's dry, I let them out here, and they've been doing wonders. Probably two weeks ago, I put it, could have probably just stopped altogether, but the last two weeks, they've just pretty much trampling everything. So I wanted to do a time lapse of this, but it just didn't turn out quite right. But anyway, guys, I'll show you a, a before picture. So what I'm going to do today, guys, I'm going to move the goat fence, but I've kind of been burning a lot of the brush along the way. I've got a burn pile going over here, somewhere right there, and then I've got another one down here. Pretty much just getting caught up on all the piles that I've accumulated over winter so that going into summer and spring, my mess is cleaned up before I start a new one. So that's what I'm working on. But what I'm going to do today is move this goat fence. So what I'm going to do is just take this corner, I'm going to leave it, take everything else, and flip-flop it. So everything has been moved. It probably took me about an hour to do this. This is, you know, I kind of wonder if this is even worth the goat's time, but this will keep them busy for a few days and it'll just be that much easier to, to come through and clean it up with the tractor. This is where the goat fence was. And at this point, just a little bit of chainsaw work, just dropping a few things. I mean, it's really gonna open this place up. I'll burn what I can, because this is probably um, on like the last handful of burn days. This is gonna allow me not only will I be able to see out to the horses, I'll eliminate my issues with the power line companies because of having trees grow up in the power line, so I'll get rid of, I'll get them off of my back. And then um, once that's, once this is all cleaned up with the tractor, I'm gonna drop this tree. That, that one's gone. There's one back there that's gotta go. There's a few of them over here that gotta go. But once that happens, then that just opens the book wide open for us to expand the orchard. This is looking great. Two days worth of work, I can't complain. This all started with just putting the goats out on a temporary pen, and uh, I'm glad that we're starting to utilize them and start rotating them around the property. We've got 10 acres, I've got a lot for them to do. So at this point, um, next thing to do is get the tractor out here and pretty much smooth this over, and uh, this place is gonna start looking like a park here pretty quick. So I got a lot to do, guys. Um, anyway, the work never ends. See you guys on the next one.